Hey, hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. And as always, I publish also on Rumble and I'm on the social media extra support and all that good stuff. So, continuing, I still see that the it's not kind of a fault of MSI, but it's a little bit of all around the sites uh, that I've been seeing, not only just WCCF Tech. Um, they, they are presenting um, the this 12 volt power cable as the final solution for preventing 4090s from melting uh, again i reiterate in the i think the previous video or uh, like two days ago i don't think this is going to solve any issues regarding uh, power cables mainly because how hill electricity works i already spoke about a little bit on how the size of the the, the pins and and the connections itself might be an issue uh, plus the fact that the the, the 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 connectors that are been melting it's on the GPU side even with the 90 degrees adapters from cable mod and everything that it's going to with adapters without adapters there have been some uh, uh, melting happening and it always is on the side of the of the GPU which uh, can be i'm not sure because i didn't do any investigation i'm a super electrician but from my understanding of how this might work mainly regarding resistance of when you try to put more power or more amperage or regarding a cable that cannot support that usually it will start overeating and with overeating melting on the connectors usually they are plastic or, or, or this kind of materials um, the fact that it's melting from what i saw uh, on the gpu side might seems that um, that the power controller or whatever it's similar to in the gpu might try to demand more than what supposedly the cables are uh, can manage and the fact that this is um, a consortium, I, I don't, I know Nvidia, Intel, and and also I think AMD also managed to uh, design this cable. I start thinking that it's not only just the bad connection, the the possibility, but the fact that the cable cannot basically handle 600 watts uh, at a consistent rate, uh, if, uh, as any cable of electricity. Uh, I think they can manage uh, a peak of 600 watts, but I don't think it can maintain a 600 watts uh, peak for a very long time until it starts to melt, mainly because, again, the, the fact that I think the connections might be uh, smaller than they should be. Um, I think there should be some investigation. The NVIDIA kind of conclusion, per se, was regarding the investigation of um, Gamers Nexus, even though they did an excellent job on that. I think the conclusion um, they reached is not a conclusion per se, but it's one of them. Uh, it's, I think the investigation was more around trying to um, replicate the issue of the, the fact that the connector is not seated properly and what it happens. I, uh, from the video world, from what I remember saying in the video, it's basically trying to replicate that specific situation. In that specific situation, they did the investigation of the connectors, and of course, the the the, the dimple connector plus versus the other type of connector there is to manufacturing processes on this one. Uh, but I think overall, this might be an issue of the design flaw, mainly of the fact that, of course, it's the the connector itself. The, you might, in terms of the design, it's not very well designed on the fact that you not sure if it is seated properly of course msi can resolve this issue of fact that you might uh, that you see if it is properly seated or not however i think in terms of um kind of um impedance and 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 ampere uh, stuff that might go through this cable I, I think it might not be able to handle the 600 sustain uh, sustain 600 watt delivery uh, the power supply can the GPU can handle it. I think it's more about the cable, and I think it might not be the, the cable itself that it's badly manufactured itself. I think it's a, a matter of the, the because the, can, the, the the when you manufacture cables and these kind of connectors is regarding a, a standard. It's standardized that it should be like this. Uh, then you can overspec to a certain point, but I think the specification of this it's not properly 
uh, it's not properly made. Uh, I think they rushed this kind of design to try to get a, a fix on the situation of power hungry GPUs. And I think this is uh, the fact that they are still thinking that it's uh, people don't know how to connect uh, pins. Uh, it's to a certain degree ridiculous because uh, even when you give again, I will reiterate this, when you have a design that can induce a lot of user error, the fault is not on the user, the fault is on the, the design of, the, of what your, the product or whatever it is. Um, you, cannot, uh, you cannot blame user if you have a weak design. It's kind of like car manufacturing. If you're manufacturing cars with uh, improper engines or with proper safety rules, you cannot blame the, uh, all of the sudden 90% of the users of that those those model of cars uh, ruining whatever it is the feature of safety feature that should already been there, uh, or there is there or it is there but it's it's faulty design. Um, yeah, uh, again, uh, I think this is not over. Um, th of course, the, 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 this, happen this is happening mainly on 4019s and I think probably some 4080s that are kind of the OC versions uh, and they have, uh, like, they, because they are power hungry, I think this, this will continue to happen even if the, everything is properly connected with the proper cables, with everything. I think this will continue to happen in, in a, not, it, it will not increase the scale, but it will continue to happen. At least it's my prediction. From what I understand of uh, electricity and from the videos that I've been seeing from people that repair GPUs and uh, from uh, people that uh, are on the, uh, on a daily basis fixing this uh, fixing this stuff, uh, they know more than me and in terms of how electricity works makes uh, proper sense. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is my, my kind of little rant on this kind of thing and the fact that they are uh, kind of... Um, trying to market this like a, an end all be all of the problem of the melting cables i don't think this is going to to end they, i think in a few months after this is this kind of thing it's launched i think we'll continue to see here and there even properly seated cables everything is okay according to to the design the guidelines i think we will continue to see this in some specific uses especially on 4090s that are like even uh, Mainly, I think more in the need to be used, like for example, in professional settings when they have like full throttle on the GPU. And I think we'll continue to see some kind of these cases, unfortunately. I think NVIDIA needs to 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 step up and and, and get away uh, with a with a fix on this thing. Uh, but yeah, regarding Computex and NVIDIA, I, we got I got here a, a video from Gamers Nexus that. Uh, it's kind of a, um, a wrap, uh, not a wrap up, sorry, um, kind of an interpretation of uh, CEO NVIDIA, the Jensen, Jensen, I think. Um, yeah, a little bit contradictory. The guy is not an, a Steve Jobs <laughs> giving presentation, very quirky, very, very uh, cringe to a certain degree. And of course, no gaming, just trying to get like a punchline of the joke with some uh, gaming stuff but it's very very weird the, the way the presentation went even though they focus more on the weird stuff but it still gives you overall impression of the, of the, the presentation itself um, also we got some news uh, Jensen um, Jensen Zhuang uh, possibly it's of uh, switching some of the production uh, for Intel um, mainly because the Intel so it, also manufactures a lot of their own chips, high-end chips. Um, there is, a, I think, there was some conversation. I think it seems good. The next, uh, like the process, I, I suppose this is a lot to do with more. Uh, I'm not sure if they are going to transition because of the, the fact that they are uh, AI, full-blown AI, on this one. I don't know if they're going to transition like the GPU stuff for gamers for. Intel because it's secondary and maintaining the process of TSMC because they, they, they know what they can do uh, or the other way around or I don't know but it seems that it might possibly go some production or extra production or try to deviate some production that that they, they, they deem that is not very important for Intel uh, but uh, Jensen commented that they seem good on the Intel regarding the next uh, 
process manufacturer, they, they, there was no specifications on this for whatever it might be, but it's just speculation on my part. Um, now, uh, hardware for today, this is it. The, I've been seeing a lot. I, I really um, recommend you go to Gamers Nexus, Hardware Unboxed, and Linus Tech Tip also is doing some interest, some funny stuff. Uh, for in Computex, they are uh, Hardware Unboxed did a very good um, video regarding upcoming monitors, like Q, uh, LED monitors and everything. Um, Gamers Nexus is doing like uh, all around uh, some. A lot of it is uh, like uh, PC cases and, and, and other stuff. Linus Tech Tips, finally somebody, a uh, big YouTuber, uh, finally uh, discovered the, the Air Jet thing. I covered this like two days ago or something like that on the, the Zotac Mini PC. Uh, it's got this solution. I covered that also, I think it was in, in CES. A very interesting technology for like low tech things, even for possibly laptops. A cooling solution that doesn't uh, need uh, a fan and it's way better it can handle a lot of stuff in terms of cooling very interesting technology there uh, the Linus Tech Tip did a good video regarding that um, but yeah for the Computex I'm watching uh, I'm following uh, Hardware Unbox, Gamers Nexus and Linus Tech Tips to a certain degree regarding Computex hardware uh, they'll be doing a, a good coverage on that on upcoming stuff that might uh, come this year or in very near future um, I will leave a link on their channels on on the description just in case you are not subscribed to them uh, so uh, check it out it's very good content and I will not be able to cover everything they have been covering on my daily stuff here uh, regarding gamings um, I saw this trailer from Silent Hill and Session and it's kind of finicky I think they are trying to do something kind of similar to Quantum Break, I think it's called the game that was going to be also a series, and then the series or the game they will influence each other. Um, my main thing is because I, I'm not very sure about this game Silent Hill and Session, even though I want it to be a good one. This is kind of a series or a game that it's uh, have series included. Um, I don't understand very well how they are trying to. Um, I think they tried to, you play the game, or you play like a chapter of the game from what I understood. I think it's, uh, logically, it's the, the better way to go about it in a, in a concept like this. So you play like the chapter of a game, and then they aggregate everybody that played the game at a certain point in time, and then they continue with an episode. I don't know if they're going to be like a chapter for players, then a, 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 an episode afterwards, after a certain point in time, with uh, basically they take the meta decisions of every gamer and then they decide to create a series but everything is going to be uh, not li live action the series from what i understood um but i don't don't know very well how this is going to work because it's a bad robot this is the bad robot game that they, there is like some guys from bad robot bad robot is not very good the directors and the, and the, the, the even the script writers the, on that movies on that project company bad robot I, I, I don't like that it's like gj abram stuff they've been all over the place they don't know how to take advantage of the the the, the, um, the established ips and, and doing something interesting with it uh, and the shenanigans they do in business uh, they always try for example in the star wars everybody was a little bit different from the from the original one so they can for example the the, the first order is not the the, the remains it's the remains of Empire, but they managed to design different stuff from first order so they can um, uh, claim uh, on the business they did uh, they claim the royalties of uh, toys sold and everything regarding that that, that kind of thing they, they, they are very finicky and and very shenanigan on on the deals they make with the with the ips they dealt with so it's it's very weird i'm not sure about this game um not only by this trailer but the concept of the game itself mostly about the concept of the game itself it's another quantum break i think it's called the game from remedy then when they try to do kind of a similar thing but yeah um okay this is not supposed to be here in hardware i usually separate hardware to software and games um supposedly uh, hardware unbox and field discovered the uh, 46 in anti in a while uh, it's the same. It's the same thing that the TI, but uh, less powerful. Basically, it's a funny stuff here. 
um, again, supposedly is going to uh, get uh, in Ju July, I think. Yeah, July for, the, for $300 is going to be a shit show of a GPU launch again, but seemingly Nvidia doesn't care. Uh, now, Diablo 4 is going to come up in two or three days or something like that, and uh, it's not kind of a game for me. I, I kind of uh, action RPGs. I'm not really really my thing even though I like very much RPGs but if you like RPG uh, ARPGs um, suppose uh, I like the, the facts for life how they go about it, their reviews uh, seems to be an excellent game for all intents and purposes um, it's got uh, I've got the video here I'll leave a link on the, the on the article it got the video here on the top but it's got a also a written article I read the article and then watched the video um, Come on, okay, 9.3, brilliant, uh, the only thing that kind of complains to a certain point, it's uh, a little bit of storytelling, it's not that refined, but it's good, very good, it's an 8, so it's very good, um, the design, visual and audio, had some quirks, but basically mostly uh, regarding server issues, uh, like rubber band, I don't know very well what that means, uh, some rubber band, uh, some stuff uh, getting stuck on boss, I think, in some time. The, the, it got stuck, I think the boss didn't die or something like that. It, I think it has to do with server stuff there. Uh, mostly server stuff, but uh, they, made, they, they, they made a note of telling that at the time uh, they were informed that uh, Blizzard was doing stress tests on their servers. Uh, I don't know if it is something to do with that, but overall uh, a lot of gameplay, uh, hours of gameplay, a lot of content and content for people for this kind of um, game. Um, yeah, it, it's a very excellent game. It, not only uh, for extra life, but also uh, other sites kind of give similar score. I think even IGN, uh, game of the year, whatever is the whatever IGN wants to tell. Uh, but yeah, every, it seems to be a consensus. This is a very the best Diablo game ever yet. Um, I don't like this kind of game. Um, it's not like this kind of game. It's how they're going about the multiplayer stuff. I don't know. Uh, there is some uh, also. I want to make a note here uh, because there is like a review process, and this is like always online stuff that you have to be. You have to be connected. Um, even though it has crossplay between all platforms and, and uh, everything, as long as you are logged in in your account, you can crossplay. Uh, in the winning co-op you can play in, on PC and a friend playing on PlayStation or whatever and they can play on the same session um, but the thing is is um, uh, because it was a review uh, there is not a lot of people around Be uh, even though they while they're playing there were like some people uh, pop up here and there one or two guys for a few seconds or a few minutes um, yeah this kind of game is to play alone it's not the, the, the multiplayer stuff it's can be like a separate thing, but they want to integrate multiplayer and everything. It's uh, it's just it's like a good buy in for me. No, thank you. Um, and re yeah, but the overall take it's the best Diablo game ever. And for that, Fexal have already started doing their thing, which is like beginner guides and and wikis. They have interactive map. I think we will be live when the game launches. Um, they are excellent on doing everything that they, they uh, put themselves in regarding gaming guides and, and begin uh, any kind of guides or walkthroughs or everything, wiki, they are excellent. They have, as you can see, they have a lot of stuff here. Uh, they are always keep up to date, all the wikis. So uh, it's, um, it's a recommendation for me if you playing any kind of RPG, just check their wikis and their guides and you'll be sure to uh, solve your issues. Uh, Changing gears, uh, there was a rumor that supposedly some PS game will come out in July uh, for PC and we have an official announcement, uh, announcement of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's coming July 26 to PC. It's already on the store, I already wishlisted on Steam. Again, regarding this thing, don't ever, uh, at least my advice, don't ever pre-order anything. Just wait to see the the the, the the, um, the reviews from independent reviews don't trust the, the the main ones like for example GameSpot, IGN and all these guys pick a guy that uh, it's uh, very uh, gamer friendly and wait for their reviews uh, for this kind of games or any game at all um, 
because uh, unless, uh, because you are uh, if you start if you have the habit of pre-ordering you just uh, sending the the a message that you are good with anything they put out even though it can be uh, not that good we saw this in recent launches um, but yeah uh, I don't know this game uh, I remember seeing that when it launched for PS5 uh, uh, but it's got good PC features for now. It's got uh, wide support, got the LSS, the, the upscaling stuff for the free guys, uh, NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. Uh, it has support for dual sales controller, uh, also achievements, cloud saves on PC. Um, yeah, it, it, has, it seems to be good. I don't think there is... Um, let me check while I'm here. I didn't check. Uh, like PC requirements uh, should be a little bit up there, I think. No, not yet. Uh, there that should be very low um, because this game to support all this kind of stuff you will need like a, a decent uh, hardware. But yeah, uh, it's coming. Already wish listed uh, to keep uh, uh, an eye on it and tell you anything more that I will uh, when it, more information comes out I will let you know. Um, again, there was a lot of stuff regarding. Uh, Kojima if he was involved or anybody that is now in Kojima production or it, it's not on Konami might be anything to do with Metal Gear Solid 3 and of course they were not um, um, we got information I, I know I, I knew this from I, I, did, I don't know if I made a video regarding this uh, the studio already uh, we now know which studio was working uh, is working um, in this game it's basically an interdev team from konami and it's working for the port part uh, with virtuous virtuous did uh, pretty good uh, nintendo switch ports uh, from dark souls lnr alto worlds bioshock xcom 2 um, they have a kind of decent uh, track on this i think they bought some games for pc i'm not sure um, I, I don't see it here because I saw a video from a guy, like a random guy, but I think it's very, he is very knowledgeable on Metal Gear Solid. Uh, it was on a, kind of the recommendation stuff, and he was talking about this regarding the virtuous one. Um, I think they did. No, I don't want to misspeak here. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a studio working internally with uh, with some dev team on uh, Metal Gear, uh, and the guy said from the pictures that he saw in game pictures, everything seems to be in place. The assets, uh, everything should be where it where it was in the original. Like the, I never played the game, so they saw like the bridges. It's the same thing. Some of the photos on the levels are the same thing. So everybody needs to be skeptical. Uh, have his skepticism in this kind of remake especially from konami and especially after what they did with the uh, with kojima it's very well uh, worth it uh, um but yeah uh, hopefully it's a good game maybe they start to get around konami and doing some pretty decent stuff and not screwing around everybody with pachinko machines um we got this one it's quite recently a lot of the fallen pc system requirements uh, supposedly are surprisingly low um kind of um the additional loads tells all um a 1060 and a night series um, intel gpu or equivalent for amd uh, should be enough for 70p low quality settings uh, of course ssd is preferred for the textures and everything uh, it's only 45 gigabytes of of space on the on the disk so it is, and the 1060 needs to be the 60. It's advisable the six gigabytes of reverb, um, because this is Unreal Engine 5. It of course uses Lumen and all that thing. Um, yeah, for 70, 20p, I don't see what's the problem here. And even for the recommended, they are aiming 1080p high quality settings. I suppose with high quality settings, 1080p for this kind of GPU maybe uh, trying to reach a peak of 60 fps i don't know i'm not sure uh, 10, uh, the 2080 it's a decent gpu and the 7060 should be uh, able to handle um, even this kind of new gamers uh, new game sorry uh, 1080p 60 frames if not high at least medium quality settings um yeah it's not uh, Kind of very low it's kind of almost in line it's on the borderline of in line with what they are trying to aim for here 
people just see the specs of GPUs and they think, oh, this game is not very demanding. It can, I, I, I assure you that it can be. Mainly because this game has been uh, doing the rounds with uh, showcasing the Unreal Engine 5 technology. They did a video with the, 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 the clothing, the details of the clothing and the, 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 the how ray tracing works in the clothing, reflecting the light on the armor and shiny stuff and everything. Uh, so uh, yeah, it can be demanding, I suppose, uh, 4K 60 frames per second, less than uh, 47 Ti for low settings or medium, you cannot handle, mainly because of uh, uh, how it works regarding uh, Lumen, uh, which is basically in-game RTX, uh, and the other technologies they have. Um, yeah, but, but, but it's in kind of borderline in line with, for the um, resolution and uh, graphic settings, I think it's, it's more than okay. And I will leave here also, for gaming, I will leave the steam page for Ratchet and Clank and we only have like this is last day around eight hours so when this launch uh, this video launches around seven hours I think until the Bioshock uh, remastered collection here which is the first one the second one with the DLC plus infinite one season pass and everything uh, included I think it's 12 bucks I already have a Bioshock Infinite on my library I don't know if they're taking an account here uh, but yeah, 80% uh, off, uh, not much more, uh, yesterday I covered a little bit, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is uh, it's a, it's a deal also, uh, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up for today uh, with my Google Get Fund Me for me to upgrade my PC to get a better, my, better and more content for my private clients and also start doing some video stuff for them and in my free spare time doing the daily video sh stuff uh, with better quality uh, doing some scripted content uh, and with that editing videos to get some deep dives on some subjects that I like to talk about uh, and of course resume my gameplays and possibly doing live streams in the near future and with all that said guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one so until then Kunami Master out